Hi everyone, welcome to our vlog. Because this weekend is really chock full of events, we've got a barbecue later on today, our anniversary tomorrow, and then it's Canada Day. I'm going to do a two-part weekend vlog because it would be way too long for you to sit there and watch like 40 minutes of our activities and nonsense, you know? So this is part one and I hope you enjoy it. Hi everyone, weekend vlog time again. You're probably wondering what you're looking at. This is my angels I welcomed into my home. My girlfriend Judy, the one who did Soothing the Soul with me, sent me this email about welcoming the archangels into your home for a week. Oh my goodness, so many amazing things have happened. And I don't know if it's because the angels were here or if it was just the power, the power suggestion that the angels were here. But anyway, it was a wonderful week. So today I have to say farewell to my angels and eat my apple. And then Hatta Rose suggested I use the apple seeds in an art journal page. So smart, I'm so glad she told me that. Seems like I just vlogged because I did that bonus vlog this week, you know, the one about all the con concerts and party girls. Oh, we had so much fun this week, my sister and I, and surprising Richard. And I am so sorry for those of you that watched the vlog um, that I didn't show Richard's reaction, but it just happened so fast. My whole plan was I wasn't going to tell him it was John Legend until we were actually in our seats seated down and he came on stage but then some of the people we were talking to they were all in on it but they were talking kind of in code and they were saying you know gee he looks like he's 12 years old and he's so little and da 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 and then and so talented and then Richard goes you guys are talking about John Legend and so you know before I even realized it oops he had, he had already figured it out and, of course, was really excited. And then right at that time, it was time to go, you know, how it was like the last call to get into your seats and stuff. So that's why I didn't videotape him and his surprise. But it just seems like I just vlogged, maybe because I just did, and here we are vlogging again. So that's kind of fun for me anyway. <laughs> Gonna make myself a cup of java here and start the day. Some people they get up at the crack of lack of dawn, you know. It's like what did my grandma used to say? She calls them Sunday morning fart bags, even if it isn't Sunday. She goes, you know, there's always those Sunday morning fart bags out there cutting their lawn at 5 a.m. Really not 5 a.m., but you know, we used to chuckle about that. And she'd say, listen to that Sunday morning fart bag. Well, we got them. They're just a giver her out there, I tell ya. So I'm sitting in the art cabin with my coffee and my flowers. And I am making, um, these ones are for little girls. You know how I made, I don't know if you watched our summer solstice party, but I made some, had all the guests make a head wreath of flowers. To wear and so I'm making some to sell in my craft sale so um, for these ones I'm putting felt on the back just for comfort and it looks nicer and more finished so these I made two little girl ones there's one there and one there and then I'm just gonna finish up this adult one there and then I'll wrap felt around the back and stuff so that's what I'm doing this morning what opened up today look at these roses there was maybe one or two the day before yesterday look at them look at this butte isn't this beautiful look at that one i know and look at the buds coming and there's a little yellow one down there's the yellow one way down here i love this and the smell oh this one climbs, so we're trying to train it to climb up there. Yeah, so it'll go all, all over that thing. So pretty. Anyway, Pops, Gigi's holding down the fort, and Pops is waiting okay, for me. See you later. Bye. 
We're going in the green truck. It's not really a truck, it's an SUV, but it's kind of like the big kind. Well, you know what I mean. It's like it's not like our other one. This is a heavy duty one. A 96. This is a 96. Ford something. Ford Explorer. 96. Ford Ex But we got this for a deal, remember? Guy across the street? Yeah. Yeah. This was a bar gun. But Richard loves it because it can haul stuff. Like he has that trailer. And we can haul garbage out. And just it's great for hauling things. So. We use it for Jesse. Yeah, and all the kids when they're Curtis, moving and yeah, you know, neighbors, neighbors and like everybody <laughs> knows Richard and his his truck and his cart. So we're going to Home Depot, and Richard has built today, and perhaps you'll see it finished this weekend, eh? Probably. Yeah, in a couple hours we'll be done. It's um, a window bench for the art cabin because we've always said, you know, sometimes it'd be really nice to go in the art cabin and take a little nappy poo if it's raining or just lay down and read. And I think I just spit out a piece of popcorn, I apologize. <laughs> to lay down and read or, you know, if it's raining, light a little fire and lay and read a book. And look at Richard, he loves this little cabin, but it's pretty nice. I mean, it was nice, even this morning I went out there and just started working and I got four of those things done, I think. Four, no, one, two, five. So I've got five done. So it's kind of neat. And it's such a, a great atmosphere. It's so quiet. No telephones unless you bring the phone out with you. So I'm going to go to Target while he goes to Home Depot. And I'm going to see if I can get some cushions for the seats. Because it would cost more to sew them than it would to buy them in, at this time of year. Like if it was in the winter time we were doing it, it would be cheaper because you wouldn't have the access to cushions. So hopefully they still have some. So we just got back from getting the wood and the cushions and everything for that uh, uh, window box in the art cabin. It's going to be perfect and the cushions were so cheap again at Target. So we've really lucked out this year. So there's a little parcel waiting for me. I have no idea where it's from. No idea what it is, so I thought you guys could open it up with me. Oh, I know what this is. Okay, in my Ipsy bag, actually, I just ordered this last week. That's why I wasn't sure what it was. I have this hair stuff, and hang on, let me show you. I got this hair stuff here, and um, it works fabulous on my hair. It's called Eva Nye Rock a Wave Curl Cream, Leave In Cream. So it if I wash my hair or um, I can put it on dry, but it's better when your hair is washed. So when my hair is in the curly state and I wash it and then I put this in my hair, the curls just lock in whatever way they are and they look so pretty and they last that way until you wet your hair again. Love it. So I thought, I'm going to buy two bottles. It wasn't very expensive because it's very hard. When, you know how it is when you find a product that works perfect on your hair? You're like, I totally need this. So that's what was in my secret little box. My little grandsons are coming over here tonight. Actually, Jesse, Richard's picking them up, but Jesse's meeting them here. It's his kids because Jesse and I are uh, working on... There's a show here in Canada, a TV show called... Tiny Plastic Men, and it just won, it would be Canada's version of a Grammy. I think it won two or three of them. And uh, so Jesse's production company produces a show. And so they just hired me again to be the extra casting person. So they're filming some new episodes and they need some extras. So Jesse's just bringing me the uh, breakdown of what I need to do and stuff like that. So it's kind of fun. I love doing that kind of work. Love it. So we'll be doing that tonight. So the boys came in from daycare. I want you to get a close-up of this boy's face. Look at him. Let me see your legs. He is filthy. And let me see yours. Oh my goodness. Let me see your face. 
Tell me, come and tell us why, Chili. Why are you so dirty today? It was my day and I was playing with mud puddles. What was there like? Tell me how you was there like mud puddles and stuff. And what did you guys there get? There's pools in mud. Pools of mud. Yeah. So what did you do? Just and you... sand. Oh my! Did you just go run and jump into the mud? Was it fun? I sat in it. Ooh. And Malia and um, Doyle both put their faces in it. Oh well, looks like your face got in it. No, it didn't. Just oh, I just put one part. One part in your face. And what were you saying about that girl? What did you do to her? The one that you got all wet. Um, we were spraying her. What's her name? Jessica. Is she like a daycare person? No, she is. A teacher. a teacher. You got her all wet? What did she do? Was she screaming? No. So you got her all muddy? She was just spraying back. Oh, yeah. Looks like she got You guys are filthy. If you spray, you, you can spray back. So uh, get. where are you guys going right this second? From the door Bath. to the what? Bath. Bath. Look at this beautiful bouquet I picked today out of my garden. I've been trying to pick one every week. If you're friends with me on Facebook, you probably see it every week for the past seven weeks. I pick a different one. But today these ones, oh, I got the roses. And then these little green things, I don't know what they are. If anybody knows what that little green flower is, tell me. It kind of has, the, the leaves of it are like a pine needle. And they're very low shrubs. And it's a perennial. And they smell really pretty. And it's just been a whirlwind in here. Whew, Jesse and the boys just left. And not because they were here, but because um, I had so much stuff, like business work to do with Jesse. Like, I've got all, here's all the notes and the breakdowns for the extras casting and all of that stuff. So I go, we went over all of that. And then he's having a function next Saturday, July 5th. So either Friday or Saturday night, I'm not sure. I'll have to check. And it is called Paint With Your Heart. And basically, uh, there's a lot of other things going on, but one of the artsy things, there is going to be a big, huge canvas, and everybody that comes in is going to take a prompt. Actually, I'm in charge of this part. You know the prompt box that I have for art journaling? Well, they take a prompt, and you have one minute to follow through on the prompt. So if it says, um, paint... Uh, put some paint on elastic band wrapped around a toilet paper roll. So they have to do that and put it all over the picture. So um, I have so many prompts, like it's crazy. So I'm just going to write them bigger so it's easier to see because it's at night time. And then really all I have to do is just get all the supplies together for the prompts. And Richard's going to supply the canvas, so we're in charge of that. So we had to go over that. It was like cray cray and the boys were so dirty so give them a bath and then we cook supper so it's just been nut bar around here. I just sat down I'm like whoo wee and I just noticed those cushions are messy but you know what? Be messy cushions. I'm going to try to not get up and straighten them. I'm so anal about stuff like that and that's why I'm always so tired. Once the painting is all done this giant canvas, then it's going to be auctioned off and all of the money is going to go, and the painting I believe, goes to Wynn House and that's a place women in need. It's for abused women in the city of Edmonton and uh, so all the money will go to them. So sounds like a fun project and uh, something easy that I can sure help with, you know. So now I'm going to get up, and yes, I'm going to straighten these cushions because the whole time I've been talking to you, it's been bugging me. Why does this stuff bother me so much? I don't get it. It's so weird. And they all have to be a certain way. There. There. Now I can relax. Well, today when I went out to the store, I picked these up at Walmart. They were only $9. These dark black capri pants with a little cuff at the bottom. And I got them in khaki. Look at the cute waistbands. And then I got this top. You know how sometimes they have those things for like 9 bucks, But this is really cute. This was, I think, 14 So yeah, of course I had to buy something. And I... These had belts, but I never, 
ever wear, wear belts. So I'm going to turn these into bracelets. You'll see. <laughs> so we are on our way to a place called White Avenue. We used to go here all the time. I mean, every weekend just about. There was a really neat place. Do you remember the name of that place where we got the scones and tea? Oh, it was called, I can't remember. We didn't miss it, but they took it down and made it into a restaurant. But they used to have the best lunches there. So we took the kids here just about every Sunday afternoon. And they have, it's one of those uh, places like every city has a quaint little cool shops and stuff. So um, right where the lights are, traffic lights there, right across that is considered the trendier part of White Avenue. And it's White, W-H-Y-T-E. So I am going to Gordon Price Music, which is right on this side, and it's more on this end of White Ave. And I'm looking for some sheet music, and I'm looking for a piano bench, especially, because I really need a good piano bench in my back, so. We found this very cool place called the Spice Grill. Very cool music. And we are getting some Smells, how does it smell in here? Smell in here? Yeah, I love it. So, 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 so we couldn't pass it up. Yeah. So I got some really great. I love the music. Yeah, the music. Can you dance? No. I can. Got my new piano bench. I love it. That's my anniversary part present and all those sheets of music. And look, who inspired me to start playing again? Mr. John Legend. Some of these are gonna be so, I was looking at them, they look so easy, but they really aren't. But this one, super easy, the prayer. I mean, with practice and stuff, it'll be easier. So yeah, and I love my bench because it actually has one of those, you know, where you can store your music. Love it. So hurry, hurry. I hinted enough, didn't I, that I wanted a piano bench. But I really like it. Look what Richard made this. When did you start this? Uh, before yesterday for the art cabin, we've been saying we wanted a window seat. Look at it, it's all finished. And it has storage underneath. So the records are under here. Some of them, see? And we've got all that empty and all under here empty. Richard, do you want to demonstrate? So you want to come out and take a little nappy poo? See, you can lay down on here. And Richard's tall. He's six foot two. Here, Richard, demo reading a book. <laughs> See? And then you can glimpse out the window. <laughs> We're silly. Crazy, crazy. It's fun. Old chair that was my mom's that was in there is going to go upstairs in Richard's um, office. So that's cool. Oh, my shattered bum. What a mess. Look at this mess. Oh, my God. I've got doula mess down there. It totally looks like a bomb hit it. Look at the floor. I haven't even swept the floor. Anyway. These jars, you've seen them at Michael's in bigger mason jars, and theirs are plastic. And they're the next mason jar size up. They're $21, people. $21 here in Canada. And what they are, and they don't even have little alpha stamps in it. So I got these at Michael's, $1.50, those little stamps, stuck them in a jar, left them in their little, pat, little purple box there. Filled it with embellishments, buttons, flowers, die cuts, you see, ribbon, brads, just paper. That paper is about 12 by 3, and it's folded. Even the pom-pom around the rim is just tied on, as is this little circle. It's not glued down, so you can use every single thing. Fun, fun, fun. I'm making these for the craft sale. 10 bucks. I think they're cute, so I made 10 of them. Easy 100 bucks if you sell them all, but I thought that's a great, great idea for um, 
a craft sale, anybody doing fairs or craft sales or anything like that, I thought I'd share that idea. And before I start embarking on this movie thing or this TV extras casting thing, I don't want to be thinking about this room. So I'm cleaning this up today. We're supposed to be going to a barbecue this afternoon at Richard's sister's. It is so rainy outside and gross. But Richard just phoned his sister and she answered the phone. She didn't even say hello. She says, come rain or come shine. Barbecue's still on. Bring your umbrellas. I thought that was funny. So it looks like we're still going. So anyway, I better get this cleaned up. Pronto. That's cute. I had this watch of my great aunt Dorothy's and it was just laying around in the craft room. I keep moving it from place to place. And I had made that little mini canvas a long time ago. So I just glued the watch onto the canvas. Time to create. I love it. And there it is on display forever. I love it. Of course, without the coffee mug and the camera, you know. Okay. Oops. Okay, this room looks remarkably better, although it could be much better. So I've got two things here that I have to mend, so that's why it's sitting there. My desk is pretty good. Art journaling, and I got one of those um, new Diane Ravely art journals. So I have some art journaling to do. Let's clean my mat off in that mat, which is fantastic. Got rid of all the crap that was up there. And this here, I just piled here because this is all to do, as is this. This will be gone by the end of the week, hopefully. So, yeah, I feel better. It was a disaster, I tell you that. So, done and done. I can close the door. 